I have always been uneasy, driving alone at night. It was one of the first few times when I had just gotten my license. But the nagging fear has never gone away to this day. It is disorienting to look into the mirrors and see nothing. And I mean nothing but the consuming blackness of the night. It makes me hesitant to check the mirrors. Should I see the dark void, or worse, something sitting in back of my seat staring at me? In the summer of 2013, I found myself driving home alone on the highway 902 from a party. It was almost midnight. And needless to say, it was pitch black, as was usual at night. I was on edge. I had the radio off and could hear nothing but the muffled roar of tires on pavement and the dull hum of the engine. I stole a glance into the mirror and saw nothing but the darkness through the black window. I know that I looked backwards and saw nothing, I'm sure of it, but just the seemingly endless blackness of the night. I remember it so clearly because not ten seconds later a car passed by me to the left, headlights on, and had one of those sudden adrenaline rushes, like when you think you see a person outside your bedroom window, when it's just a tree, or when you start awake at night with the feeling of falling. Ten seconds earlier, nothing had been behind me. Suddenly, a car. I drove all the way home, shivering and knowing something was off. The next morning, I found two sets of scratches near the back of my van. The next morning, I found two sets of scratches near the back of my van. One on the left rear, one was on the right. The car was pretty old. They could have been there for months, but that was the first time that I distinctly remembered seeing them. In hindsight, there were two possibilities for what happened that night. Possibility one. By some glitch in reality or something paranormal. This other car had somehow appeared behind me within 10 seconds of me checking my mirror. Like some weird ghost crap or something. However, the second option is what made my blood run cold whenever I consider it. It didn't even occur until me until months after the fact. But it makes me dread driving alone at night even more possibility too. The car was normal. It had approached me from the rear and passed me to my left. However, something large and wide and as black as the night had been clinging on the rear of the car, obscuring my view through the window and leaving deep scratches on the side. And I had inadvertently driven it home with me.